the students. Today I will discuss about the party control and analysis of raw materials, finished products, in process quality. So in that uh, in process quality control, yes, uh, will be carried out for the terms. Under that, uh, today let me talk about the process. This is nothing but in process quality control process for captions. So let us uh, look into about the contents uh, of the content that is FWP, invariability test. Under that invariability test, uh, there are two tests are there, weight variation test, uh, content in test. And the uh, next one is the refrigeration test. Uh, let us look into the test for empty capsules. Also. Test for empty capsules. Uh, empty capsules. So in most of the pharmacopoeias, uh, uh, they have the test for filled capsules, but uh, most are none of the empty capsules. So the exceptions are the uh, Chinese and Japanese pharmacopoeias. The entry in the JP in its uh, capsules is not uh, tested correctly. These five capsules are used. So these are the S and sugar and the capsules. The method. The capsules are tested individually and each one is taken hot, placed in 100 ml quantity, flask, then add 50 ml water, and then flask is shaken. So during this test, the water is maintained at 10 All the capsules must completely dissolve it in 10 minutes. The resulting solution must be orderly and neutral. This is a small uh, capsule specification. Uh, the dimension is and what is the capacity of the capsule? Up to The length of the capsule parts body and cap. What should be the length of the capsule part? Body and cap. So capsule should contain both body and the cap. The body in this point is the body and then we were able to test when the under that two tests are already mentioned, rate variation test continue. Test. Under that again the uh, weight variation test. So this uh, uh, test is performed separately on how is that in capsules and also so weight variation test for how is that in capsules. Let's talk about this uh, so method. So individually weigh 20 field caps. Of take the 20 uh, capsules, field one, and determine that average. That's the first step. Second step is to calculate the weight variation of every capsule against the average. We have to take the usually weigh the 20 field capsules and, and take the average. Then calculate the weight variation of every capsule against the average. The variation next is 10% plus or minus 10. Determine the actual weight of the medicament which is separately and compared with uh, overall. So then, uh, according to the specifications in some class, the overall weight of two capsules can differ by 10 percent. Average weight no capsule can differ by more than plus or minus. If, in case of the overall wear or average weight, uh, if they differ by 10 to 
25 percent plus or minus, and uh, repeat the same procedure with 40 mil. When uh, 60 capsules are taken for test, sorry for test, 60 capsules are taken for test, around 6 capsules can be said in the overall average weight for more than 10 percent. In no case, they should be more than. Then, there is weight of capsule twenty five percent of the energy deviation. Less than three hundred mg, ten percent deviation. Three hundred mg or more, seven point five percent deviation. That is about the hard gelatin, and next is the weight variation test for the soft gelatin. In this case, very uh, individually. They uh, there are 10 filled capsules here. And, uh, empty the contents of the capsule. Contents in the capsule. Then allow the solvents to operate from the contents of the Then take necessary steps to clean the liquid or gelatin mixture. And with contents are calculated by the empty capsules. Finally, the contents of therapeutically active ingredients are determined from the outcome of the assay and directed in the individual manufacturing. The second one that is about the hard and soft content uniformity test. In this case, invariable distribution of drug substance does persist a problem in case of solid. There is a invariable distribution. This problem remains at higher level in case of Then the third step is uh, for this reason, 30 capsules are used for assaying the interesting What is the method or option? At first, uh, the 10 capsules are uh, assigned to the uh, domain. The percentage purity of the active ingredient. The 9 out of these 10 capsules should be within the range of 85 to 90. In case of 1 to 3 capsules, Outside the stated range, it is 75 to 124 percent. The national tests are to be performed in the remaining. So then the net result of the 30 capsules uh, has to be assayed and should prove that uh, at least 27 capsules are to be within the desired constraints. So that is between 85 to 115 percent and uh, no capsule should be beyond the stated range that is uh, between 75 to 125 percent. Then the disintegration test. So, third one is the disintegration test. So, in this uh, disintegration test, is a method uh, to evaluate the rate of disintegration of a this one. So it is defined as the breakdown of a solid doses from small particles of matter. It is that is the reason we do the disintegration process. So these are the small figure it indicates the small capsules are the importance of the
point is to find out the disintegration rate of capsules that are kept in stated experiment condition in the predetermined time. So to increase the availability of drug for absorption in the body, that is the reason we do the integration test. Then to increase the surface area of the drugs like antacids and antidiarrhals, we need to act locally and also to determine the batch to batch uniform. Uh, test apparatus, design of apparatus. Okay. This, uh, this is a stainless steel disc, a third plastic plate, opening a glass tube, rod, paper, test capsules, layer, plastic plate, stainless steel. Uh, what are the IP specifications? Length of glass tube, 1.5 plus The internal diameter of the glass tube should be 2.515 mm. Thickness of the walls of a glass tube, diameter of plastic plates, 90 mm. Thickness of plastic plates, mm. Diameter of wire string, mm. Diameter of stainless steel, mm. So, what is the exact method is for? Capsule has to be placed in every glass tube and um, basket containing this glass tube is placed in the basket and containing the liquid fluid plus that all capsules. Then the apparatus is then operated for a specific time. Capsule causes the disintegration and none of the drug particles remain on the mesh or ice cream. That is, the capsule must disintegrate and all particles must pass through the mesh. And which is specified in the official membrane. However, the insoluble protein particles are the soft mass without palpable uh, core or uh, exit. Then, disintegration test for all gelatin capsules. So, in this case, all gelatin capsules, we are taking six capsules, and uh, uh, these six capsules should be kept. Each six tubes of the basket. So instead of adding this, attach a removable mesh wire cloth. So operate the operators using simulated gastric fluid, simulated gastric fluid, and maintain that the same SMS to be disintegrated. Observe the capsules within the time specified in the individual monograph, there for 30 minutes. Capsules. Results. All the capsules are disintegrated except for fragments from the capsule shell. If one or two capsules they fail to disintegrate, repeat the test on 12 additional capsules. So not less than 16 out of 18 capsules tested disintegrate each other to disintegrate from the fluid. So, The major primary 
object here and in process point of view. This may affect all the features of the product. That may affect its quality in the way. So, just continuing of that, I'm only focused on the recruitment and the condition of that. In process of project control, this project, this is not a discussed thing. Right. Then examining the product style, plan, section. So, even decision test can be done, noise permission test can be done. Apart from the invariability test, that is weight variation test, stability test, uh, you can also have the stability resolution test. The stability tests are uh, nothing but uh, they are all meant for the capsules. You know, the intercept gelatin capsule shell. Okay, and for determining the shelf life of the hence. These tests uh, definitely help in maintaining the quality of the contents of the capsules and for choosing appropriate people for the Before actually performing the test, the following facts start to be remembered. Uh, if we take the capsule, the capsule shell has to be stabilized to know the atmospheric conditions. To 30 percent temperature around 20 and capsules ought to be proceeded for further test right after they are re established the equilibrium. So this uh, stability test uh, includes the cell integrity test, determination of shell quality. Cell integrity test. Uh, this test is performed to find out the integrity of the particular. Then, negative humidity, eighty percent temperature, room temperature, then type of contamination. And if the temperature is forty. Open then 1040 then 5 liters the method the capsules is not to be tested and uh, uh, the standard capsules are placed in one of one of the above conditions for two weeks periodic examinations and across and matching occurring again Standard capsule shells, which are kept at room temperature and 80% relative humidity, become more soft than sweat. The second, the test capsules under the same condition which undergo the following in case. The last changes include color fading, discoloration, disintegration, leaking, turning brittle or soft. Then net changes include loss of volatile, contrain gradients, darker, lighter, and then changing color. Many times due to slower drying, soft uh, spots appear on the touch container, even under the standard capsule shell. So these types of these soft spots are not developed in the standard capsules. So then later on, these spots uh, turn harder and, and are more sensitive to fix the capsule shell. In case they do not turn harder due to slow capsule ingredient, the physical stability. Such flaws must be corrected as soon as possible by adding the ingredients. Shall contain stainless steel layer. Then the determination of the shelf life is well known in the third day, which is the point of the data fact of the determination of the atmospheric conditions. So, we have the theory of 
Entonces. Aquí está. Vamos a ver. Thank you very much.